Hello, everyone. Welcome to SFC Market Talk. I'm Xie Hongzhou. Today, everyone's looking at Guangzhou's Nanshan District. Guangzhou has just approved its latest regulations to deepen the district's cooperation with Hong Kong and Macau, and ultimately build it into the next hub for advanced industries in the Greater Bay Area. But before we dive into the details, let me first tell you how important the district is. Despite being a county-level district, China has big plans for Nansha. Its strategic location gave it a head start. It's only an hour's drive from Hong Kong, half an hour away by high-speed railway from all major GBA cities, and surrounded by five airports. Not to mention that it is home to the biggest port in southern China. All these make it an ideal location for starting or expanding businesses here. Being one of Guangzhou's fastest-growing districts, it is now home to a sizable manufacturing industry and a major producer of automobiles. Now it's hoping to attract players in future-looking fields such as semiconductors, commercial space flights, biotech, artificial intelligence, and electric vehicles. That's why today's new announcement means so much. Here are some of the highlights. First of all, delegating powers. Provincial and municipal governments will delegate relevant powers to Nansha as much as possible. Fast tracks will be set up specifically for Nansha. This allows Nansha to explore reforms more freely and effectively. Second, support for innovation. World-class research universities will be built within the district, easier cross-border flow of research materials, faster grants of patents, and stronger IP protection. Instead of the 25% standard CIT rate, there's a reduced 15% CIT rate for companies operating in encouraged industries within Nansha. Third, deepening cooperation. Specific fund will be set up for Hong Kong and Macau youth to either work or start their businesses here, plus leaving medical and housing subsidies to help them relocate. Preferential individual income tax. More mechanisms will also be explored to attract Hong Kong, Macau, and international professionals to participate in the construction of Nansha. And there is one guideline highlighted above all these measures: tolerance of errors during innovation, which means the region is highly encouraged to take bold moves as long as it's within the framework of rule of law. What's also worth mentioning is the other official document released today. Regulations on promoting high-quality development of Guangdong's manufacturing industry. This document does not name Nansha specifically, but the measures are clearly good news for the district. The regulations are encouraging local governments to build advanced manufacturing clusters with a series of support policies, including smoother government enterprise communication, lower costs for land and energy use, stronger introduction of innovative talent, and more sharing of major scientific research infrastructure to enterprises. The message is clear for Nansha. It's going to get all the supports to make itself an industrial powerhouse. Being the geographical center of the Greater Bay Area, Guangzhou's Nansha is often called the heart of the GBA. As the world is witnessing the rapid development of the region, Nansha is expected to unleash more untapped potentials one can hardly imagine.